Okay, this light. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay guys, I've filmed this four times now. Four times. So let's hope this one doesn't f day because I just, I can't. 2020 has been bad enough. I'm not letting my videos ruin my 2021 on me. It's just a no. Hope you all have been keeping well over the past year. Um, Of course, I haven't been very active on here, but I'm trying to, you know, get back into it. Yeah, I don't know how to start this. <laughs> If you guys don't know me already, my name is Lizzie and this is my channel, so welcome. I think it's been a year since I last made a video and it was my Paris vlog. But of course we can't go anywhere now because of the B word. But we're not gonna discuss that here, that's... No, we're not discussing her. Yeah, so in the past year, I don't know about you guys, but I have made one too many online orders. Um, it's gotten a bit extensive, let's just put it that way. And my wardrobe is about to explode any second now. So I thought I'd do a little haul with you today, just to go through some wee bits I got. But in particular, I wanted to speak about the new sensational fashion company brand business i don't know i'm um, called shein <laughs> now shein shine shenanigan i heard someone call it once i don't know how you pronounce it we'll just go with shein because i think that's how it's pronounced it's basically like a cheap ass pennies it's the exact same except it's based in china and it takes three weeks to get to your gaff so as you can see here behind me i have done i hide that you're not supposed to see that i have done a little shopping because I don't have enough clothes clearly yeah we're doing a little haul today I've been ordering off Shein for the past two years perhaps and I've had my fair share of different opinions on different things I've ordered but I thought I'd do a full-on order for you today and kind of go through the order process and also kind of do like a little review and haul on all the stuff that I have bought. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to download the Shein app and you want to register and make a new account. It's literally so easy. It's like your name, your email address. Simple. So when you open the app, this is what will come up here. I think I'm going to put my images there. Yeah, let's put them there. <laughs> this is what will come up on your screen. So if you just want to tap on the me icon in the bottom right hand corner, it should be there. Oh, my hand isn't even going to come up, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyways, the very top hand side, top hand side, at the very top side, lads, it's been so long. I can't speak English. I can't. So when you're on the me tab, if you want to go up to the top and hit sign in or register and you basically just follow these steps and go ahead and register. Once you sign up and register, you can literally spend hours and I mean hours scrolling through. There are so many different items on this. There's loads of different categories also. Um, there's a sales section, you know, you have a home section, you have a women's section, men, kids, everything, beauty, the works, everything. So if you are ready to place your order, just hit the little shopping bag, which is in the top right hand corner of your screen and just go through all the items that you've added to your cart just to make sure that they're the right sizes and the correct quantity. Now, I think it's orders over 20 euro are free shipping. Um, but I could be incorrect in saying that. If you just want to scroll down to apply voucher underneath the payment methods, there's different types of coupons that you can use to take off your payment. So obviously depending on the amount that you spend, the higher the coupon will be. So say for instance there, um, my top one is 49 euro and I get 15% 15, 15 off. So if you want to use that coupon, you literally simply tap that and it will apply to your checkout. If you're a first time buyer, this is not going to work for you because you haven't placed an order before. But once you place that order, you can also take points that you've earned and use those off your order. So the points here on mine, I have 480. So I just want to input those and apply. And then I simply just place the order and that is it. Extra dollar off your clothes. Happy days.
so yeah that's just the Shein app in general I probably made that sound an awful lot more complicated than it actually is but trust me it is so easy to navigate and you'll have it wrapped around your finger in two seconds but more importantly we gotta go through the clothes so yeah as previously mentioned I had filmed this before so unfortunately I had opened all these clothes already and put them back in the bag for the purpose of this video. Okay, I just realized it got really dark all of a sudden, but anyways, we move. Right. <laughs> nice. Okay, so first of all, of course, everything did not come out of the bag I thought that would be very unhygienic. Everything is individually wrapped in these little plastic bags. They also sometimes come with tissue paper inside, for what reason, I don't know. But yeah, this is the way that they come individually wrapped. Now, in terms of shipping, I placed my order on the 22nd of December and it came on the 11th of January, which actually in fairness wasn't too bad. I expected a lot worse with the pandemic. Um, and of course it's coming from China, which is ages away. So I was expecting three weeks and I think that is roughly around three weeks. Could be less. I'm not good at maths. So first off, I'm gonna start with accessories. So I didn't buy an awful lot of accessories. I think I got like three items, which isn't an awful lot, but we move. So first of all, I got this beret. I, you actually cannot see it. It's literally so basic. I'm not gonna try and put it on because I have a bone in my hair. Oh, that's actually... But yeah, made a wool, six euro. Where can you go wrong? Not that bad. So second of all, I got these sunglasses which come in this designer case. Um, yeah, Grant, I mean, doesn't smell, so we're not doing too bad. But I got cat eye sunglasses. There is a hair, a bit stiff, not gonna lie. I think I got these for four euro. I mean, for four quid, where would you be going? Like, so nice. Lovely, I like it. Okay, so for months I have been looking at the Bottega chain handbags and I was going through Shein one of the days and I seen this dupe of said handbag. I was like, right, she's cute. She's six euro as opposed to three and a half grand. So I was like, you know what? We'll give it a roll. <laughs> what is this? Like, what? No. Like, the lining is brown. Why is the lining brown? <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's crocodile print on the front. Plastic. It's fucking plastic. And, like, this here, nowhere near metal. I mean, obviously, what to be expected. You get what you pay for. Six quid. I'm not going to complain, but I wouldn't be running out to buy one. Let's just put it that way. I got, now, I seen these, and I was like... I need these tomorrow, never mind in three weeks time. Not that I'd be going anywhere, but I need them in -ish. These are the straight leg, they're literally the length. <laughs> they're almost the length of me. These are the straight leg heart print high-waisted jeans. Shein in their sizing can be quite funny. They go by small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, and so on and so forth. Actually, they do extra small as well now I think about it. I personally would go between a medium and a large. I am a size 10 or size 12, just depending on what it is. Straight leg jeans just don't suit me, but I seen these print and I was like, I need them, I don't care. I'm buying them. If they look shy on me, I don't care. They're cute. So I got a large in these and they are a little bit larger than I thought they would be because it says on the large that they are a 10 to a 12, which is absolute bullshit. But however, we're still gonna wear them. They are a proper denim, but they're not too thick either. I feel like you'd be wearing them in the summer, not in the winter time because they are quite thin. But yeah, I really like those. So next up, I got this sweatshirt. Now, if you have never seen this sweatshirt, sweat, 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 sweatshirt, you have not seen the sweatshirt before, you haven't been on TikTok long enough because it is everywhere everywhere and i'm not gonna lie to you i thought with this sweatshirt being so popular i thought like you know everyone had it for a reason one it looks good two it's comfortable three it's a reasonable price and honestly 
I don't agree with any of them. This is the jumper here. So she's like a cream color. But it's not cream, it's more like yellow. Yellowy cream, I don't know. It's just, I just, I'm so, I was so disappointed, I'm not gonna lie to you. The stitching is good. Like that's literally the only good thing about it. It's not oversized. I thought it was oversized, so I bought a large in it and it fits me perfectly. So the sizing on it is not 100%. I feel like if you lit a match to it, it'll go up in flames in two seconds because just the material is shocking. No, I can't say I'm a fan. It's a no. So then we have a pair of white cycling shorts. I have tried everywhere trying to find a pair of cycling shorts that aren't see-through and are comfortable and not baggy on the stomach area. And here we are once again finding a pair of cycling shorts that are see-through and our baggy on the stomach area. Like, I feel like I'll never find a pair of cycling shorts that actually fit me perfectly or are not translucent, basically. So these are the plain cycling shorts, biker shorts, I think they're called on the website. Um, they're white, very stretchy, in fairness. That's probably the only good thing about them. It's just a no. Okay, so I was very excited about this next one. Um. I've been looking for a leopard print jacket everywhere, like everywhere, and I can't seem to find a really, really nice one, but I wanted it cropped. So I went on to Shein and I seen this one. And she's cute. She's cute. The only thing I do wish about this jacket is that if the lining was black underneath, it is white, which is kind of annoying, but I feel like I'd wear it with a dark outfit anyways. So if anyone's seen the lining, I get a bit of a nick. It's really nice. It has one small clasp at the front and it has a collar. Like a double breasted collar. Um, but yeah, I really like it and I think it'd be really nice with it, like an outfit for a night out or something. So then I also got this V necked houndstooth pinafore, which is really cute. Um, yeah, I mean, it's thin material, but it is quite nice. I feel it'd be lovely with a black polar neck top underneath it. I mean, for the price of it, I think like, with my discounts, I got this for nine euro. So in fairness, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, the zip is working perfectly. It's not dodgy at all. I did get a size medium in it, which apparently here is a size 10 and it fits me perfectly. The thing with Shein is their sizing can be a bit off sometimes. So what I always do is I always look at the customer reviews and kind of go by that. I feel like other people's opinion of, you know, the way it fits and stuff might help you choose which side would be best suited for you. Also, make sure to look at the material that is in the item description. I feel like that also kind of indicates on how stretchy the material is or how fitting it will be. So then you can kind of alter to yourself. So like pennies or Primark, I feel Shein is really good for different like tank tops during the summer or even just for underneath jackets or shirts or any other type of overcoat you may have. So I just got three ones. Um, I think I got three, maybe I got four. I got four, four different tank tops in different colors. So I got a brown one. This is just the plain ribbed tank top. And I got a purple one. I just thought this was a really nice color because I have a jacket which is gray, white, and purple. So I thought that'd be really nice. And then I got this Razorback type, kind of burnt orange. This is it here. And just a plain button up white one. All of these I think cost me under five euro each, which is really handy. Um, and again, with your coupons, it's even less again. I think I got one of them for two euro. But each of these I got in a size large because I feel like on the chest area, Shein isn't really great. So if you're like me and you have a big bust and you want tight fitting tops, probably do order a size up because they can be a bit iffy sometimes, but obviously depending on your own size and how you feel. If you want it to be tighter or if you want it to be looser, Etc. Etc. I got this skirt which I absolutely love because number one it's pink, number two it's an A-line skirt, number three it has slits, so it's perfect. This is it here. She's really pretty. It's like a baby pink. I thought it'd be really nice with a pair of knee-high white boots, which I only got recently, so I cannot wait to go out and wear this. It does have a zip up the back, which is really handy. Uh, a lot of skirts on Shein do have elasticated waists, which I cannot stand on me because personally I don't feel it suits my figure. So they have a wide variety of different A-line skirts on Shein in all different patterns. I got this houndstooth skater skirt. It's kind of 
it's tight at the top and then it flares out at the bottom it's really nice it's like a cotton material though it's kind of like a mixture of what is it oh it's polyester apologies i really like it it's quite stretchy which is good too again it is zipped up at the side and it's just flowy on the bottom which i really like i think it's really fun and again i got this in a medium which apparently is an eu 38 which is a size 10 so yeah so next up i got this cropped cream v-neck sweater it is the coziest thing it's like that kind of hairy fuzzy like so cozy i feel like a teddy bear when i wear it it is so nice and um, this was more in the expensive side for sheen it was 17 euro um but so worth it because it is so nice again i think i got a discount on it not 100 percent sure but i did get this in a large again because of my chest area it literally as you can see in the photo just about covers my boobs so maybe if you wanted it even bigger or a little bit lower maybe try not getting a cropped one or getting a size up i think this jumper would be really nice paired with a pair of jeans or even a skirt with a pair of tights during the winter time okay so like the trousers i seen this and i was like i need to get her like i need her she's so cute obviously this is the trend recently of short sweaters i don't know what you got they're kind of like golfing sweaters strawberries lots strawberries isn't this so cute like i can't i can't she needs an iron but strawberry shortcake eat your heart out gorge now obviously i'd wear this with a shirt on underneath maybe a white one but oh my god i love it i love it it's so nice i got this in a large just to be a little bit oversized and um, in fairness it makes me look a little bit boxy but i think that's just the shape and it doesn't suit me but i'm gonna wear it anyways because i really like it they have so many different colors my last order i got i ordered a beige one and a green one and again they're so nice they have so many different options especially they're quite up to date with trends like i was so shocked at that when i first started shopping on there i was like whoa they actually have a lot of stuff that is in at the moment so definitely get onto the sweatshirts if you're on that buzz um because i know they can be quite expensive but if you're looking for a cheap alternative and you're not in a rush to get it trust me shein has every color under the sun so the last order that i made i bought a pair of satin pajamas in my last order and i'm not gonna lie to you i fell in love with them they're so nice and they're actually really comfy surprising because i kind of felt like i was sleeping in them i kind of slide around the place but honestly you just feel so good with them on i don't know what it is so i got this leopard print cami top pajama set this is it here there's also adjustable straps which is really good but yeah isn't she cute i love that and it comes with little shorts as well now the shorts are high-waisted um not gonna lie your arse kind of sticks out in them but they look good so yeah really really nice um those were nine euro again they have so many different satin pajamas like such a wide variety so many different colors so many different patterns definitely will be buying another five pairs of pajamas don't care okay so another skirt because <laughs> i need more skirts this is the gingham plated gingham is that how you pronounce it i think so gingham gingham plaid no not plaid gingham <laughs> i'm so tired this is the gingham mini skirt which is pleated which is so nice um i think it'd be lovely with like any type of color considering it's black and white you can literally pair with anything pair of knee-high socks and boots or even during the summer with a pair of espadrilles maybe not espadrilles you know those sandals what are they called you know the blocky the platform sandals those yokes these things yeah i think it'd be really nice with that and like a plain bodysuit or a crop top i think it'd be so nice it's real playful and flirty is, can you describe skirts as flirty i don't know i think it is i remember like months ago these tops were like a craze maybe they weren't craze maybe i just think they are but i really like them i have one in blue and i really wanted an orange one i couldn't find a nice orange one for ages and then hey ho she and had multiple options so this is the nice puffer crop top it's kind of like a corset front and it has a bust detail which is really nice i really like it it's quite neon i don't know if it shows that in the light but yeah 
really cute. It'd be nicer in the summer with a pair of high-waisted shorts. I got this in a medium. Um, the last time I ordered a top similar to this from Shein, I ordered a large and it was a bit big around the arm area, but yet it fit my chest perfectly. So it is kind of a pain that you have to play around with, but again, as I said, check in the customer reviews or even check the measurement. The return process, it's not too bad, but I feel like it just takes forever. And if you're in a rush to get an outfit and you know an event is in three weeks time and you want to get something like this, it's just a pain having to return things. So yeah, check the measurements. I've now decided just to go through all the skirts together because I've actually gotten so many of them. So this here, again, is actually quite similar to the other one now that I realise. Oh my god, it's literally the same, but a different style. Oh no, it's a different shade. But it's the same pattern. They're both hound's teeth. Yeah. So this is the A-line hound's teeth skirt. Again, as I said, it's a wee bit lighter. It has the zip up the back, which I mentioned before I really like. Got this in a size medium. Again, EU size 38. Really like it. I mean, again, simple wintry boots, tights, you're good to go. Another one of my favorite items that I bought because it's pink. I got this tartan pink checked pleated skirt, which is the cutest. It is zipped up the side. Again, it's made out of cotton and polyester. So the bottom part is stretchy, but the top half is not. I thought it'd be really nice with a pair of knee-high black boots, maybe a black bodysuit. Again, you can dress it up or dress it down. Like, there's so many different shades in this. You can literally match it with a lot of things. All year round clothing, we love to see it. So then next up, we have this cream A-line skirt. Again, very similar to the last one I showed you. Zip up the back, made of cotton, size medium. Love her. Honestly, you should have seen me trying to record myself zipping this up yesterday. Like, everything else, fit perfectly and it took me about half an hour to zip this up for only to me to realize that I got some of the material stuck in the zip. So like the cycling shorts I'm always trying to find a nice pair of black leggings that aren't see-through and I think I found them. So you know those leggings that have been going around TikTok and it's like the v-shaped wait hold on it's like the v-shaped thing at the front literally these do the job. Now of course they're not the same material they're not very thick but you look, if you're literally chilling around the house or even just nipping down to the shop or whatever, these are your go-to. I got these in a medium. They are quite long, which I was quite like, okay. And I have long legs. So I was quite shocked at that. But as I said, they do the job. They're grand. They're not see-through. They're very comfy. They're very stretchy. We love to see it. I feel like this top has been seen at like every festival, but I still love it. I feel like it won't go out of date. It's so cute. So I got this halter, this is gonna be hard to show because it's stringy. I got this halter neck zebra print top, which I thought was cute. You can wear it to a club, you can wear it to a festival, you can wear it making breakfast. I really like her, it's really cute. It's made out of cotton, it's so cozy, so comfy. You can adjust it because obviously there are strings on it. It's, it's fabulous. It's just lovely. I would put it on, but I don't want to. Yeah, she cute. The only problem I have that is, depending on the tightness of it, I don't feel like my personal boob would not fit into this one piece of triangularness. So just be careful of that. I ordered this in a medium. Probably should have ordered it in a large, but look, we live and we learn. But yeah, I really like it. I feel like I'll be wearing this during the summer when I can actually leave the house. And then to go with that, I ordered these trousers, which I thought were very similar, but they're actually quite different. They're just different material. Oh wait, hold on. It's the material is the problem. So this is polyester and this is cotton. And I tried it on. From a distance, it looks grand, but honestly, I just get the ick by that. So I was like, no, we can't do. But anyway, we got these flared zebra print trousers, which I really, really like. Again, I feel like everyone has seen them before. They're very basic white girl, a lot of festival, but you look, I think they're a vibe. I feel like you can wear them with anything, like literally anything. Any colour top, any oversized t-shirt, printed t-shirt, leather jacket, bralla underneath it. It's just so funky. I just can't wait to wear these around the arts building if I ever get back to college. Do you know what would be really nice with those platform boots? <gasps> platform leather boots 
get me out. I totally forgot when I seen this photo that I had matched this top with it, so I got this other top. Now, I'd wear this with a black bralette underneath because it's literally mesh. Like, hi. A mesh shirt, but it has fluffy sleeves. Oh. Oh. It has fluffy sleeves. So cute. I actually, look at the colour of my hands. I can't. <laughs> fluffy sleeves it's so nice i love her and it has like a satin collar on it classy nice yeah really cute maybe tie this up at the bottom you know with sleeves three quarter length bit of fluff pop the collar brad underneath zebra striped trousers every man is buying you a drink you will catch me in pig sipping on zombies and tropicalas wearing that outfit in three months time hold me to it okay so then i feel like this is going on forever i'm so sorry <laughs> then we got a yellow jumper because i love yellow it's so summery i really like it it just has one clasp here at the front now again you'll want to watch the boob when you're wearing this personally anyways i got this in a large for that very reason but yeah, I really like it. Even with like a white bralette underneath just to be on the safe side. I think it's really cute. Um, we got long sleeves. We got a little bit of a cuff at the end. Just with a pair of light blue denim jeans, I think it'd be really nice. Or even if you want to put white shorts with it, do a bit of a summer winter contrast. I think it'd be really cute. And maybe a little few cute white or yellow hair accessories. I don't know what I was talking about there. But yeah, I really like it. Okay, so then lastly, I got two separate pieces, but I kind of just count them as one because it's basically an outfit. So I got this. Oh, this is a lot of strings. Hold on. Zipper up there. Um, I got this like pinafore. Now, it's not the best material. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very thin. Very thin. But I thought it was really nice. So it's like a cream yellow with a bit of orange um, tartan pinafore. Now, this part here literally goes below my waist. I don't know if you can see in the photo. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm mad on it or not. I feel like I'll like it in a few days time. I feel like I need to adapt to how it looks. But to go underneath this then, I just got this plain high neck cropped cream ribbed top. So if you can see, you can see in the photo, but I'm just gonna show you here as well. Just to go over, over it. I just thought it'd be really nice. Um, I do have a pair of cream boots, which I feel would go really nice with you with this. So as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, I've ordered an awful lot off Shein over the past year. And I always see on TikTok like how all these Americans get the massive boxes and get all the clothes in it. And I've always made it an aim of myself, which is really embarrassing to order as much clothes as possible so I can receive one of those huge boxes and i've come to terms that no matter how much i order i will never receive a box until i ordered a pair of shoes off shein and then i got the box i was like i'm an elite shein buyer now which is sad life but anyways these shoes i ordered off shein the last order that i made and i have not been able to wear them so when i ordered these i was like i'm excited to see what they're like how they feel are they comfortable and lads i'm not gonna lie they're amazing and they even look good now when i bought these i said to my friend i was like they look like wellies and she was like no well that's kind of the trend i was like okay fair enough see they're not they're not focusing hang on there we go i thought they're really cute now they look white but they're cream color and um, the sole of them is jello or jelly or whatever you want to call it um rubber maybe you want to call it rubber? I don't know. But yeah, quite comfortable. Um, they kind of go up. They're not mid-calf, but they're just below mid-calf. Um, I'm a size 7. They do go by... Oh, sorry, I'm a size 8. They do go by European sizes on Shein, which actually isn't too bad in fairness. So these were a size 41. But yeah, I really like them. And I feel like with that outfit that I just shown, with the pinafore and the top i feel like they go really nice with it um so i haven't had a chance to wear them yet but i'm excited to try them and i just thought i'd share with you what they look like in conclusion i think that was a successful shein order again there was some items that i was not happy with others totally satisfied by so 
you know it's just it just depends on what you order really and um, any advice that I have is to just make sure you check the customer reviews make sure you check the measurements and also the material of the item of clothing that you're buying and um, also don't forget to use your coupons and to start building up points so yeah that is it for today guys I really hope you enjoyed if you have any questions or queries do not hesitate to make a comment down below in the comment section and don't forget also to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and are interested in seeing more of my content. Follow all my socials and I hope to see you in the near future. Bye!